Hello, SciFest friends. My name is Wizard Audrey. And hey, friends. My name is Wizard Jenna. Today, we're going to be dropping different balls at different heights, but we'll also be discussing key concepts such as gravity, motion, and height. So let's go ahead and start with those key concepts. First, the force of gravity on an object is known as weight. An object's weight can change depending upon its location. For example, on the moon, you would weigh about one sixth of your weight on Earth. So the pull of gravity on you would be much less. So when we let a ball drop, gravity is using its force to pull the ball down. Newton's law of gravitation states that what goes up must come down. This is because Earth's gravitational pull. Motion happens when a force is applied to an object, causing it to move in a certain direction. When we drop a ball, gravity is pulling it down, and the force is causing the motion in a downward direction. Height is a vertical distance between the bottom and the top of an object. So when we drop the ball, we'll try and measure the height of how high our ball bounced. Jenna, what effects does the mass of a ball have on the height of a bounce? That's a great question. Let's say a ball weighs five pounds and we were to drop it. There would not be much of a bounce. The heavier the mass of a ball, the smaller the bounce, and the lighter the mass of a ball, the bounce will be. So in our videos, we'll be using a volleyball and a basketball. To kind of keep in mind, a volleyball weighs a little bit more than half a pound, and the basketball weighs between 1.1 and 1.36 pounds. So now that we one of our key concepts, it's time for the fun. Jenna and I will be taking a volleyball and a basketball around Randolph College's campus and dropping them at different heights to see the difference between the bounces of the ball and the height of them. While you watch, you can take your own balls to participate with us. To measure your height, you can use the tape measure from your SciFest kit and tape it to a door opening or a wall. You can so bounce your object and measure the bounce with the tape measure. Yes, that's right. So just a reminder, don't have any valuable sharp objects or open drinks around you while you participate in this activity. That can cause it to get a little messy and we don't want that to happen. So if you guys don't want to use a tape measure, you definitely can. I can show you another way that you can measure the difference between the bounces. So let me stand up. So if you do want to use a tape measure, it's in your SciFest kit and it's pretty long. You can tape it up against the wall, like over here. You can tape it there, anywhere, um, and just hold it up or it's up on the wall. You're going to take the ball, let it bounce. And once you see where you can estimate where it, the height of the bounce was, you can make an indentation. If you just want to do it by eye um, and if you don't, want to use the tape measure, that's fine. You can bounce the ball from your hip, your shoulder, or your nose, and you can do it at the same time or do one or the other. So now we're going to show you some fun videos of me and Jenna going around campus dropping some balls. Enjoy.